in your business, in my business, in any business, there's this whole thing called day-to-day, -day, right? And day-to-day -day is like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have 57 unread emails, and my phone is ringing, and I have all these deadlines, and there's all these pressures that are coming at me. That's life, no matter what business you're in. And so what happens is that there's this, there's this potential sometimes to lose that connection with what it is that we're doing. And there's this other piece um, that doesn't often get talked about in work environment, but believe it or not, everybody in this room is also a human being. <laughs> and what that means is that human beings also have lives outside of these walls. And there's challenges, and there's things that happen in our lives. And you know, we come into an environment, and we sort of have to walk that line between professionalism and vulnerability. How do we allow ourselves to make sure that we keep our job, but also navigate those vulnerable moments and the vulnerability of actually receiving support and help from the people around us? How do we do that in a way that allows us to do our best work so that we actually recognize that we're all human beings in one room trying to accomplish a goal? So the question really is, with all of these variables and all of these stresses and all these things flying around, the question is, is how do you stay in it? How do you stay doing what it is that you're doing? And at the beginning of my talk, I said to you that I can only talk about what I know. And so I can only tell you how I stay in it. And how I stay in it, and I realize that this is like a really dumb thing that I'm about to say, but the way that I stay in it is by staying in it. I know, it's disappointing, right? <laughs> I stay in it by staying in it, by occupying the space that I wish to occupy, by deciding that this is what I do, non-negotiable, this is who I am, this is what I do, and this is my piece of the impact puzzle that I'm going to be contributing to the world. And as a result of having stayed in it in my life, I've been greeted with all these little, little nuggets along the way, all of these little moments that have served as these little reminders of why I'm in it. And it's important for me to admit that you know, those, those good things that happen, those great things that happen, those are not separate from all those moments of stress and the emails and the phone calls and the personal stuff. Those things, they just kind of go hand in hand. But what the experience has taught me of doing this for the last 10 years is that if you do stay in it and you stay connected to that reason of why you're doing it and you do it to the best of your ability and you do it with the most integrity that you can muster, then it does find a way out there. And it doesn't necessarily find a way in the way that you were anticipating, but it does find a way. And through the nature of that work, you also end up being surrounded by some pretty incredible people. 